waiting until the resurrection morning. My dear brethren, all that are here, young people, we need to meditate upon our Christian walk. Yes, it's wonderful to hear the experiences of others, but what about our own experience? What about our own walk? Let us make sure, brethren, that we also treasure that hope that when Jesus comes, we will be together. We will see all friends. We will see those that had gone before us, those that have left a, a legacy for us to, to see and to, to desire to be like them because they met the Good Shepherd. At this time, I would like to call Brother Nehemiah Chang, and he will have the words of committal to at this moment. The moment has come that we will bury our dear brother Suresh Kumar. After sin, justice declared, you are from the dust, you must return to the dust. Well, many times we hear this word as it is written in the Bible. But it, when it comes to our personal experience, beloved father, husband, grandfather, friends, as a co-workers, members of faith, we realized that God's word is true. Same time, he has promised those who believe in Him, although we return to the dust, our life giver will awake Him with new life, better than now, better than He had, better health than He had. We are the only people we can be rejoiced when someone die in the faith. Blessed are the dead who died in the Lord. Henceforth, we are so thankful for this promise. Today, we specially ask the Lord's blessing upon Sister Suresh Kumar and his, her beloved family to be comforted with the promise of God. Let not your heart be troubled he believe in God, believe also in me. In my father's house are many mansions. Someday, not in this earth, where we need to use mask, without mask, without sadness, without tears, we will be living together at that home where God prepared for us. Now I meet you are from the dust, he returned to the dust. Father, please be merciful to us. Life, life you provide for us will be with us together and we commit our dear brother Shresh Kumar into your hands. Protect him until the day when you call him up. Amen. Amen. At this time, brethren, we are going to sing together the hymn, Abide With Me.
lead us in prayer. Let's bow our heads. Our Father in heaven, thou art full of mercy and grace. And though thy wisdom and thy knowledge we cannot understand, we know, Lord, that you have the best, the highest desires and goal for your children. We, Lord, we ask that you may soften this blow by the sweet work of your Holy Spirit upon everyone that is going to remember and miss the guidance and counsel of our dear brother, the love and affection that you through him have shown to us. May we, Lord, imitate you like he did, in whom we reach so that there may be many more souls saved in your kingdom. I ask, Lord, that you may comfort this family, that you may be with them at all times, that your angel may not depart from their dwelling, and in their going out and coming in, may they not forget the one who showed them the way. Lord, we pray that you may come soon and that we may be ready together with our brother Suresh Kumar and stand on that day by your grace. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. And at this time, brethren, um, I would like to invite Brother Johnson. He had some words of acknowledgement in behalf of the family. I'd like to take this time to thank my dear brothers and sisters and the children. And I thank you for everything that you have done and for your presence. I know that uh, we all have the faith uh, as to what is to come, but we all need to also hold to our faith strong so that we can also see him. Because we know, I know for sure that he'll be there, but now I have to be sure that I have to hold on to my faith, that I will be there as well. Thank you all for your presence and for your support. Please keep us all in your prayers, especially for my mom as well. Thank you. Amen. With this, brethren, we conclude with our service here. And may God be with all of you as you leave this place. And also let us keep our, our brethren in our prayers. Amen. Amen.